Welcome back to Breakfast. Well, the World Health Organization says homeopathy is one of the most widespread non-conventional health treatments in the world. Yet for some of us, it's a relatively unknown treatment. To explain what it is we're about, <laughs> what it is all about, we're joined by Dr. Sean Holt. Good morning to morning, you. Peter. One of the reasons it's probably relatively unknown to most of us is it's very difficult to understand. Well, people, I don't think, know what it is. Mm. People think it's natural and it's very, you know, dilute and it's very safe. Uh, and it is very safe because there's nothing there. And a, ho a homeopath will tell you that. The theory is that the more you dilute something, the more powerful it gets. And so they'll dilute it, uh, products are one in 100, and then that's diluted one in 100, and they'll do that 30 or 40 times. What, what exactly are they diluting? Oh, things like flowers and plants and some more crazy things as well. OK, I'm, I'm yeah. sensing that you're not a great believer in this. I know you've done a lot of research and you've looked at a lot of research into how homeopathy works. Yeah. And, and if it does. I mean, some things are debatable in medicine and science. This isn't one of them. You know, there's no scientific evidence at all that it works. Okay. In fact, when I give talks on the subject, I do a million dollar challenge. I offer a million dollars to anyone who can show me in a trial that it works. The reason I do that is because the, the James Randi Foundation in the US will pay one million US dollars to someone who proves that it works. OK. So I'll probably make on the exchange rate. Right, so you don't have insurance for this then. <laughs> um, the, uh, although it doesn't work, there will be people watching who use the treatments and swear by it. Of course. So explain that to me. Well, there's several reasons. Placebo effect, of course, but I think there's a more important reason. It's what we call the natural history. So for most things that people see a homeopath for, usually quite minor, almost all of those will get better themselves over time. And the homeopaths cover all bases. So if you're getting better with their treatments, they'll say, well, you know, it's working, of course. If nothing happens, they'll say, well, you need more treatments, you need to carry on. And if you get worse, they'll say, well, that's a good sign. You know, you've got to get better before you get worse. It shows it's really working and it's powerful. Some people will have a condition that they will go and see various people for, various practitioners. I mean, is there any harm, given that it is so, 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 so diluted, to be taking homeopathic treatments? No, there's nothing there, so it physically can't harm you. But I think there's more widespread harm than that. For example, uh, the NHS in the UK will fund it. And I think that's wrong. Um, there should be better things they can be funding with their limited resource. Uh, and also, it's just a waste of time and money. So I, and also, f there are a few wacky, quite a few wacky homeopaths out there who will give very bad advice in terms of vaccinations, particularly, tell you not to do a take any vaccination. You talked about the placebo effect, Julia. I mean, how yeah. powerful is the placebo Huge. effect? Huge. It is. It's one of the most fascinating things in medicine. Mm. You know, maybe 30, 40 percent improvements just from placebo. We don't understand it. So, so given it's so powerful, if you are seeing a homeopath about a condition you have, it may be worth still seeing them. Well, you may get some benefits for that, but I say you should take traditional uh, medicines that are shown to work because you'll also get the placebo from them as well, right. as well as active ingredients. So your advice to someone who's seeking treatment for something? Uh, don't waste your money on homeopathy. <laughs> Sean, thank you very much for, for joining us, Dr Sean Holt, and he doesn't beat around the bush. Okay.